Hey guys, and welcome to the one where I'm heading home. I know, I know, I know, I know. I haven't been around a lot and I'm sorry. I had to make an unexpected trip to Ohio over the weekend. I've been here ever since and now it's Wednesday and I'm headed back to North Carolina. So I have eight hours to waste in a car driving through West Virginia and Virginia and North Carolina and I'll take you guys along with me. What is this traffic in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia? This is not okay. All right guys, so I'm in West Virginia now and about halfway through my journey. And I was just checking in to see how you were. Um, there was random traffic on this random road in the middle of West Virginia that's there's never traffic on and I had to come to a complete stop at one point but I wanted to talk to you about something there's this podcast that I heard about on Twitter today called Zarf Z A R F and it is about this platform for writers that someone is working on who I follow on Twitter and they wanted to make this podcast as kind of a log of their journey while going through the software development phase and there's one episode out now and I'm about to listen to it and I was going to check in after I finished listening to it to tell you guys what I thought and if it's something that you guys should check out. So I'm going to hop on and listen to that and then come back to you guys. So I kind of lied. Well, I guess I didn't lie so much as I told you that I would check back in with you and then didn't because that was Wednesday when I was driving home from Ohio and it's now Saturday and it doesn't take that long to get back from Ohio. So what actually happened was I got home and I really didn't feel super well so I laid down because I'd been driving all day and kind of passed out. And then the next two days were pretty much spent with me doing a lot of work for work because I was gone for three days and now we're here on Saturday and I'm finally getting to film the rest of this video. So sorry about that. I didn't put a video out at all this week which is very bad and not normal. There were certain circumstances that just happened and I couldn't control them. I'm back now. So yeah, I have two things to tell you. One, the Zarf Audio Log podcast that I was telling you about before is super good. And the second episode is out already and I already have it downloaded. I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, but I will first thing on Monday morning on my drive into work because I am super excited about it. It's just this woman who is in tech who is building this platform and her going through all of these emotions while she's building them it's super awesome something kind of that i'm striving for on this channel is that like just very honest and open conversation about what it's like in tech and she comes from a different perspective being a woman of color in the tech scene and building this platform herself and it's just really good you should definitely check it out. I think I said and 700 times during that sentence. Speaking of podcasts, I don't listen to too many tech podcasts except for this Zarf audio log and there's this one called Code Newbie which is the same people that uh, run the Twitter account that I mentioned in my last video and then there's one called Modern Web that's ran by a woman named Tracy who's actually local to the Raleigh-Durham area now who had a startup out in San Francisco and got into the coding scene that way. It's really good. All of those podcasts are really good so if you want to check those out if you listen to podcasts they are super awesome. Also, if you know of really any interesting tech podcast, feel free to leave them down in the comments below because I'm always looking for new podcasts as if I don't have enough to listen to anyway, but let me know what they are. The other thing that I wanted to address in this video is during the past week, I've gotten three emails and one message on Twitter about the same thing. And it's something that I've been meaning to do a video on for a while now, and it's they're all kind of related. So I wanted to address this topic. So it happens fairly regularly that I get a question that is one of two things, and it's either, hey, can you do a tutorial on this? Or, hey, can you look at my very like specific code for this one problem and fix it for me? So I want to address this because I have a hard time replying to these emails. The tutorial one is a little bit easier because I just don't do tutorials and I have a pretty good reason for that. I just don't think that's what this channel's purpose is. I don't have the time to put into thinking of what the tutorial would be, videoing it, editing it, all of that stuff with everything else that I'm trying to do. And I just don't think that's my lane. I'm still a new developer. I feel like if I put a tutorial out, there may be four or five 
different and better ways to do something than how I did it. So I just don't feel like it's my place. And for many of the same reasons, I have a problem answering the second version of that email, which is, can you help me fix this like very specific thing in my code? And most of the time that I get these emails, they are something super simple. And I can shoot back a quick reply and tell them that they're missing this or missing that, or point them in the right direction of what to look for but it's something that I can't do for things that are not basic. And it's not because I don't wanna help or I don't wanna spend the time going through what's wrong. It's just that one, I don't think that's a sustainable way to learn how to code is reaching out to somebody on YouTube and hoping they come back with an answer. And two, it's actually probably easier to get an answer from Stack Overflow or Stack Exchange. And those answers are vetted with other people in that community who upvote, downvote, and argue about answers all the time on there, as opposed to me just giving you my opinion about how to fix one specific thing. Like I said with a tutorial, I am still a new developer. I may not do something the best way, and I don't want to give people bad advice about specific coding things when there are hundreds of thousands of resources out there and like millions of Stack Overflow questions that are better equipped to serve you that way. Sometime in the future, as my channel grows and my skills grow, this could obviously change. If I decide that I want to do a tutorial because I learned something really cool that not a lot of people are using, or I have this really interesting idea that I think people would want to see be built, by all means, I may do it. But at this current moment, that's just not what this is for. I give advice and I tell about my experience and I lay it all out there for you guys to know what working as a developer is like and the struggles and the awesomeness that comes along with it. All right, so that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to follow along in the journey. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.